if you're interested in becoming an academy, you're probably wondering what this means in terms of procurement, because obviously you can buy your services wherever you wish. We, as an academy, belong to an organisation called ARC, and they provide many of those services that many schools would generally um, get from, from a local authority. If I were a, an individual primary school thinking about becoming um, an academy, I would, be, I would be anxious about trying to do this on my own. Being on your own potentially is more expensive. Our experience has been uh, that it has been less expensive. If we do need a service, we do not have to rely upon the local education authority. We can go out into the marketplace and buy, whoever, buy in whoever we think would do the best job. I definitely feel I've got value for money in being able to outsource myself. It is quite time consuming though, so you do have to think that somebody else other than the head probably has to be responsible for these things, which brings um, it back to the finances director or bursar in the school. Nowadays there's loads of independent companies and organisations which do provide the services. So anything you need, whether it's payroll, whether it's uh, uh, admission service, there's companies there. You don't have to go to the LA's preferred sources and you can just really operate as a business where you go for the best buy. And in terms of finding the best suppliers, it's word of mouth. There's lots of economies around now that have been using various providers for a long time. So if it's payroll or, or um, personnel support, find out what people are using or who's good and use it for a year or two and then change if it's not doesn't meet your needs. So I go for tried and tested uh, suppliers and systems really, but uh, get out there and talk to people. I would certainly encourage heads who are looking to, to, to seek academy status to think about perhaps joining um, established academy providers or perhaps joining or creating their own federation of academies, perhaps, um, where they're able to, to pool their resources and, to, and to, to share some of the costs that are involved. We buy in expertise and support when it's necessary. We're not tied into a contract. When we need somebody, we use a pot of money that we set aside to buy in the people that we, we need. It's not necessarily those people from the local education authority that we buy in. Before we Ofsted it, we bought in an Ofsted inspection team privately, it cost us a couple of thousand, and they did an inspection. So we just did that, and that's very cheap, but it's a proper team, high quality, and they gave us a, a mini inspection before the Ofsted inspection proper. So there's things like that you can do quite easily, which uh, you probably wouldn't get from our local authority. You have to still buy some services from the local authority or your special needs pupil still come through the local authority or your admission still comes through the local authority. However, you can choose whether or not to buy the education welfare officer from the local authority. Um, you can buy your educational psychologist from the local authority. You can buy your own. So you can maybe sometimes be very much faster in dealing with issues than you would if you were using the local authority. When we were looking to to where we would draw our ed psych support from or our speech and language support from. Um, we we recognise that we would we do have freedoms to, to draw those um, services from anywhere. My decision, however, was that we are supporting Westminster children within Westminster and it is important to 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 still draw on those services within the community, you know, within our local authority because that gives us and the local authority a broader picture of our families. So the best place to help us. One of the things I've learned is that you are dealing with the Department for Education directly, so you haven't got the middleman, the LA, um, and you haven't got maybe known people in the LA who you would deal with and could um, maybe support you on some things that you now really have to deal directly with the department who might be managing a lot of schools. So you have to use your own initiative and you just have to be prepared to phone up people whom you might not know and search around till you find the right person who can help. So I suppose one of the things has been dealing with such a large institution, which is the Department for Education, as against dealing with a smaller local authority. Moving away from the local authority, becoming an academy gives you fantastic freedoms, freedoms that I'm sure many head teachers would, would embrace. But there are very important services that a local authority provides in terms of IT, health and safety, you know, support, um, education support, governance, you know, training, training your NQTs. There's, there's a wealth of services they provide. 
I don't particularly think we need the LA. Um, they do provide a service and we're still, um, I still attend meetings with the LA. I still go to head teachers meetings and, and join in that network of schools, of the local schools. But other than that, I don't particularly miss the LA, no.